people should just know, I mean, it's study abroad, but we were doing school the whole time without realizing it, I'd say. I mean, we were learning, but class was never on our minds. Even when we were in class, it wasn't something that felt like school because it was just learning was everywhere around us. I went to Cornwall, England, and that was where the American soldiers stationed before they went to Normandy, and they took over the town of Falmouth, and the hotel up the street from where we were staying is where Churchill um, had meetings to talk about what was going to happen in Normandy, and I thought that was amazing just to be there where all this history happened. When I go home and when I get my degree and I can start teaching, I'll be able to tell my students, okay, this is this is where it happened and this is what it's like, and I'll be able to show them pictures that I've taken and not just pictures from the book. Um, I think as a teacher of French, being able to teach in France to American students is an amazing resource because it's much more real to the students. The students are not only having to learn a new language, but they're also having to learn a new culture and uh, they can't just leave French in the classroom and go home and be with their friends. They have to actually use what they learn for survival. And before I went, I thought that learning French was kind of a price you had to pay to be at this really awesome Abby and Abby experience and I never really knew how much fun I would have learning a language in the country where they speak the language. That was just, I just felt so empowered, like I was just starting something completely new that I'd never done before. If I had anything to say to anyone that was thinking about coming and was nervous about traveling abroad, this is the best way to get your feet wet if you don't think you're ever going to do it.